Hello, uh, my name is Kyle Wicks and I'm a 28 year old GoPro photographer and I love exploring and capturing the beauty of mother nature. Have you heard of the first uh, million dollar challenge with GoPro and be along with all those content creators? Uh, yeah, it was just such an inspiration for me to be a part of that group and be flown out with the GoPro athletes and the employees and some you know, photographers and content creators. And I looked up to a few of those people prior to, so just to meet them in the flesh is inspirational for me and just sparked such passion to uh, when I get home just to keep pursuing what I'm doing and just keep capturing life with GoPro. The GoPro will send me a camera every launch year prior to the, the community, the general public, which is you know really cool for me to being able to test some products out prior to launch and traveling the last couple years. I've been main focus on traveling throughout Canada and in my car and you know you can hit a road and just drive endlessly and uh, you know being able to travel throughout Canada the last few years has really sparked my passion just you know for life the outdoors and then to be able to have a GoPro alongside me to capture it just helps me be able to share it in hopes of inspiring other people to get outdoors because I just know how much good it can bring to the soul and just life in general. Prior in the spring, GoPro launched a GoPro project and basically anyone from the community could pitch an idea or a project. I had the idea of traveling across Canada, living out of my SUV solo for a prior amount of time and capturing Canada along the way and just my experience. And I pitched that idea to them and a couple months later I was Thankfully, uh, one of six at the time chosen and uh, couldn't believe opening up that email and just seeing my name being a, pun, a part of that you know, community. And I set out um, late July for, I was on the road for 43 days, um, living out of my SUV. I kind of basically literally packed all my belongings, everything I could in my car and just hit the road. And um, I had, I drove based from Ontario across all the way to the coast and brought my GoPro there and tried to just capture my experience along the way. And I was in the mountains for, I think, four weeks, five weeks, um, between Alberta and BC. Hotel every now and then, um, hiking, um, canoeing, and just exploring and seeing as much as I could. As Yeah, just having that whole experience was just, yeah, it was life-changing, seeing Canada, you know, from almost coast to coast. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, going through Dinosaur Provincial Park uh, through the Badlands of Alberta, that was actually my first stop. And yeah, going through that uh, landscape was just incredible, seeing the textures and uh, like everything, what Mother Nature creates through her elements, you know, through the water and the wind and just being a part of that. And I didn't at the time find any fossils or dinosaur, uh, you know, bones or anything, but I did see them like, you know, capsuled in the, monuments and stuff but just to be in that uh, landscape and some like dryness and just something I've never really seen being from Ontario it was just yeah it was wild is the whole time I felt like yeah I was waiting for a dinosaur to pop out or something like that is it, it was really cool for anyone that's trying to capture life or just put out content like for me just you just got to be true to yourself and whatever you want to capture for me like I've always been really inspired by the outdoors and I've always been in the outdoors and then for me I feel like how I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm at um, I still have tons to learn and tons to grow but just really trial and error like getting out there bringing an idea shooting it going back home like if it didn't come to life go back at it the next day or don't be afraid to just put yourself out there and ask for advice or you know any questions you have for someone and like I said just put yourself out there 
trial and error and just share and share, share, share. When I was out there, like I, there was definitely times there's like, I had no problem being by myself and it's something that I enjoy and obviously what I wanted going out there alone. But then there's also times that I was with people out there that was, I loved being with other people, like collabing with them, getting ideas, shooting out in the field and whatnot. But then at the same time, like it's really cool just to be out of the freedom, just to do like whatever you want and just like get in your car and just drive until you want to stop and you don't have anyone else telling you what to do kind of thing. So just the freedom of being alone is unmatchable, but then also like it's it's cool always being in, with people in nature and seeing like how they see it or how they're inspired by it or what their reactions are. So it's, it's pl pros and cons to both. <laughs> Life's too short to just wait around for people and if you have some inspiration you know, and dreams and inspirations, there's no better time than now. And that's what I've kind of realized doing this is just life's, yeah, life is short and you, you gotta get after it and time doesn't slow down and either does mother nature.